$10,000 payday awaits. The midget portion of the Castro Gateway Dirt Nationals is underway. And they'll head off into turns one and two. And Carter Sarf says, I'm going to prove you all wrong as he goes to lead down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, through turns three and four, two and three wide, lap number one, it goes to, oh no, Carter oh. Sarf has trouble. He's off his piece and goes to the lead. Heartbreak City for Carter Sarf. Trouble for Carter Sarf, your pole sitter. He pulls in with trouble. And Jonathan Beeson from fifth to first. We'll see if anybody has anything for him. And out of turn before they complete lap number six, Wyndham is now catching him now, just about four car lengths back. As Beeson oh. goes to the top side, big oh. wheelie for Beeson. Will that open the door for Wyndham? No, sir, it will not. Yeah, Beeson going to the top there, kind of uncharacteristic for him. That momentarily opened up the door for the mayor, Chris Wyndham. Interesting mix. It was five tenths of a second the lap before that. 1.5 seconds the last time, and now 1.8 seconds the advantage for Jonathan Beeson. But he does have two cars running. Oh, oh no! no! Jonathan Beeson makes contact with Terry Babbitt. You saw it coming, and there was nothing you could do about it. Oh, wow. my goodness. Chris Wyndham, Zach Dobb, Nick Hoffman, your top three. And Wyndham brings us back to the green flag, off into one and two. Hoffman's going to go up top. Here comes Beeson. He'll slide up in front of a couple of cars down the back straightaway. Hoffman to the outside of Dom. Now Hoffman sets his sights on Chris Wyndham. And here comes Jonathan Beeson. He is up to fifth right behind the lead trio. Nick Hoffman trying to make things happen on the high side of the racetrack. He's going for the lead. Could he shock them all tonight? Oh, the oh, caution is no. out. Chad Gerke in the 57A car of um, Shane Cottle. Yeah, oh, your... come on, man. It was just getting good with 11 to go. <laughs> 11 laps to go. The mayor, Chris Wyndham, brings him back to the green. Green flag is out as they head off into turns one and two. And Beeson with a big slider on Hoffman. Meanwhile, Dom goes to work on Wyndham. Oh, oh a little bit of contact maybe between Hoffman and Beeson. As we race back to 10 to go, 10 laps remain in this one. Hoffman's going to pinch him off into turn three and four. Hoffman will get up on the bike a little bit. Just five laps to go. It's been all Chris Wyndham as now Beeson will go to the top side down in one and two, driving it for all it's worth. And Jonathan Beeson, I believe, with a broken right front shock on the 8J. Four laps to go, and he's made his way up to third. Yes, he's got a broken right front shock on the hard eight racing entry. He don't need no stinking shocks, man. He's coming to race here tonight. He's, he's really on a move. Here comes Beeson. They race back to three to go. Can Beeson get there as he closes in on Dom? He's able to make the high line work down in turns one and two. Just three wow. laps to go. Jonathan oh. Beeson going to try to get wow. up to the front of the field. Are you kidding me? He went video game mode off the fence. He'll go around Dom. Here comes Beeson. You better go, Wyndham, because Beeson's coming. Wyndham chases the line and goes to the high side of the racetrack. Beeson is there. Dom is there. Who's it going to be this time by white flag in the air? White flag in there. Final time around the speedway. Wyndham's got it. Will he go to the top in one and two? No, he goes to the bottom. Dustin Beeson no! bounces off the concrete. He rides the wall. How did he just do that? Oh, oh my man. goodness. Through three and oh, oh, no. no. Dom upside down. And the caution flag Red. comes oh, out. Oh, no. What just happened? A one lap, one fifth mile dash to the finish for $10,000. Green flags out. Don't go up into turns one and two. Is there a slider coming? Engage. Yes, sir, it is. Beefing up, beefing up the track. Wyndham turns back down there side by side off into three and four, Dustin. Through three and four for the final time. Who's it going to be from worst to first? Wow. Look at the crowd. Chris Wyndham is second.